Hi, my name is Ron Bertino from tech-informer.com and today we'll spend a few minutes looking at why the 64-bit edition of Sony Vegas cannot import Camtasia AVI files by default. If you're like me, then a few months ago you probably upgraded to Windows 7 and thank goodness for ever said goodbye to the crappy Windows Vista. So when I upgraded I thought it would be best to install the 64-bit version of Windows 7 in order to get the maximum use out of my system. Now, even though installing a 64-bit operating system will improve performance, ideally you also want to run as many 64-bit applications inside the operating system as well. So when it came to installing a video editor, I decided to buy the 64-bit version of Sony Vegas, which in my opinion is the best overall video editor for the PC. The screen capture software I use right now is called Camtasia Studio, and it's made by a company called TechSmith, and right now it only comes in a 32-bit version. So, the issue is that a 32-bit application is going to work perfectly fine on a 64-bit operating system. So that part there is no hassle. Now, since I use Sony Vegas for my editing, I set Camtasia to output to an AVI file instead of the default, which is called a Camrec file. Alright, so I output to an AVI file, which normally can be imported into Sony Vegas with no problems. But the problem I ran into was that when I grabbed the AVI file created by Camtasia, and then try to import this into Sony Vegas, it would only bring in the audio track. The video track was kaput, okay? It was not there at all. So the first thing I did was to check the codec which Camtasia was using to record the screencast content. Think of the codec as a format of the video capture process to keep it simple. So I went to the tools menu and then selected options. Under the capture tab, I verified that it was set through to save as .avi and on the video tab, I could see that it was using the TechSmith screen capture codec. Well, after doing some digging on the internet, I found out that this issue is basically caused by Sony Vegas not supporting the 32-bit version of the TechSmith codec. And remember, there is no 64-bit version of the TechSmith codec, right? There's only a 32-bit version. So this means that you've got two options to get this thing to work. The first thing you can do is you can keep running the 64-bit version of Sony Vegas and install a new lossless codec for the screen capture process, which I'll be showing you this in a little bit. But the second option is you can always uninstall the 64-bit version of Sony Vegas and install the 32-bit version of Sony Vegas, and in that instance there'll be no conflict between the two. Personally, I wanted to see if I could get the 64-bit version of Sony Vegas working properly, so I opted for the first option. So as mentioned, after doing some digging, I found out that this free codec that you see here on the screen is a really good option for getting Sony Vegas to work properly with a Camtasia screencast capture. The good news is that it's absolutely free. So go hit this URL, download the codec, and install it on your computer. Next, we want to change the codec from the default TechSmith codec over to the new Lagarith codec. So in Camtasia, we go back to the Tools menu and click on Options. And now you click on the Video tab and then the Video Compression button. You'll then get a pop-up window, and now you need to change the compressor from TechSmith screen capture codec over to the new Lagrith lossless codec. Click OK on the way out and you're good to go. So now when you do a new screencast video capture with Camtasia it's going to use a new Lagrith codec which Sony Vegas won't have any issues reading. So you'll correctly see both the audio track and the video track this time. And for those of you who don't use Camtasia Studio which does cost $300 unfortunately you can use some alternative software here called Cam Studio which is free and you can download at camstudio.org so now if you go through to the options menu and select video options you will get this screen here on the right you can choose to either stick with a default codec which is Microsoft Video One or you can also use the Lagrith lossless codec that we just downloaded I tested out both of these and they both work perfectly fine Okay, so now you know how to get Camtasia Studio to work with the 64-bit version of Sony Vegas. As always, for the latest and greatest in technology updates, please feel free to follow my updates via the blog, Twitter, or the YouTube channel. Please leave a reply if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, have a great day and thanks for watching.